Hey, this is Alex from FitLab, and welcome to our in-depth comparison of Garmin Speed Sensor 2 versus Cadence Sensor 2. You'll find the links to the two products in the description. And you can use the links to check the latest prices and other user reviews. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to know our final verdict on which sensor is better. So the main difference between the two is the metric measured. Garmin Speed Sensor 2 measures the distance and speed and is installed on the wheel hub. Cadence Sensor 2 measures the pedal strokes per minute and is installed on the pedal arms. Operation and data syncing. Speed Sensor 2 can be used without a connected device and then the data synced afterwards. Cadence Sensor 2 requires you to connect the sensor to a watch or smartphone to activate and then track the data. Both sensors connect to compatible devices and fitness apps via Bluetooth and ANT Plus technology. Garmin Speed Sensor 2 and Cadence Sensor 2 specifications. As you can see, Garmin Speed Sensor 2 tracks distance and speed, while Cadence Sensor 2 tracks the cadence. The speed sensor is installed on the wheel hub, while Cadence Sensor 2 is installed on the pedal arms. With Cadence Sensor 2, during installation, you need to activate it using a head unit or compatible device. Similarities between the Garmin Speed Sensor 2 and Cadence Sensor 2. Both sensors sync data via Bluetooth and ANT Plus technology and are powered using a battery. Garmin Speed Sensor 2 – Overview and Features The Garmin Speed Sensor 2 is a vital sensor if you don't have a GPS on your bike or in an area with poor GPS. It attaches to the wheel's hub and helps you get accurate distance and speed at all times, even without a head unit. It's circular and comes with a battery to power it. Around this sensor is a rubber holster. It's easy to install this sensor on your bike as there are no magnets or exposed parts. All you have to do is wrap it around your hub and you're good to go. The sensor allows you to set up your wheel size in the Garmin Connect community or self-calibrate it with a compatible device or an edge cycling PC. With the Bluetooth technology, you're able to sync the metrics to the Garmin Connect and other fitness apps like Zwift, fitness equipment, and compatible devices. Additionally, you can move the sensor between bikes easily. Pros Can work without pairing with a device while working out. Works in areas without GPS or poor GPS connection. Cons Has to be awake to sync data with a fitness app. Garmin Cadence Sensor 2 Overview and Features This sensor is a wireless sensor, flat and circular in shape. At the back, there's a battery that powers it up. Moving it and maintaining the sensor between bikes is easy as the sensor comes without magnets or any other exposed parts. The sensor monitors the pedaling cadence as one rides the bike and easy to install. This Garmin Cadence sensor fastens itself to a crank arm size and then measures the pedal strokes per minute to help you get the most out of your exercises. To activate and use it, you need to pair it to a smartwatch or head unit. Rotate the wheel and start using the sensor. When the data is noted during riding, you can sync it to the Garmin Connect app or any other fitness app and track your stats. The sensor is water resistant to about 10 meters. However, the wireless connectivity doesn't work underwater. Pros, water resistant at one ATM. Cons, requires pairing with a compatible device to be activated and for the metrics to be recorded. Verdict, so which is better? Garmin Speed Sensor 2 or Cadence Sensor 2? Choosing between these two sensors is not easy as they both track different metrics. Garmin Speed Sensor 2 tracks distance and speed. If your machine lacks GPS or is in an area with poor GPS connection, Cadence Sensor 2 on the other hand tracks the cadence. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know which sensors you would like us to compare next.